All right, concept two, multiplying polynomials. These get a little bit more involved than multiplying complex numbers because complex numbers are always, there's always two terms. With polynomials, you can have multiple terms. You can have two, three, four, five, seven, ten, however many they want. So the easiest way to multiply polynomials is by using the box method. So I'm gonna show you how to use the box method to organize and help you figure out um, when you the answer when you multiply two polynomials. So here's the steps you're gonna take to do the box method. You're gonna draw a box, done. So you want your box to be as many, um, so like if I were to write this one down here, I want it to be one more than the highest degree. So this highest degree is two, so I want one, two, three. Three boxes, so one more than the highest degree. So I'm gonna write that up here, one more box than highest degree. Okay, so for this one, my highest degree is two, so I'm gonna write three. This one, my highest degree is also two, so I'm gonna write three, okay? You're gonna write your polynomials on the outside edges of the box. So what I did here is I left one box for x squared, one box for three x, and one box for negative five. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. One box for x squared, one box for negative x, and one box for one. This should look somewhat familiar to the factoring box that I taught you guys how to do, but instead of factoring, we're actually doing the reverse. We're gonna multiply. So we're gonna multiply to get each box's value. So for this box, this box up here in the top left has a width of x squared and a length of x squared. We're basically finding the area of each tiny little box and then we're gonna add them all together at the end. So for this box, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, and here's why. x squared is like x times x. If I were to multiply that by another x squared, I have one, two, three, four x's. So that's what happens when you multiply x squared times x squared, you add the exponents, okay? So, I'm just gonna go straight across this way and then work my way down. x squared times negative x is negative x cubed. Add the exponents. One times x squared is just x squared. And I'm done with the top row, so now I'm gonna to move to the second row. Three x times x squared is three x to the third power. Three x times negative x is negative three x squared. And then one times three x is just three x. Right. And now we're on the bottom row. Negative 5 times x squared is negative 5x squared. Negative 5 times negative x gives me a positive 5x. And then 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Okay, so we're done filling out the box. Now how in the world are we going to add all these things together? This looks really complicated. Well, it's actually pretty cool. Your like terms are on the diagonals going from top right to bottom left. So. I will show you. This guy in the top is by himself. Okay, then we're gonna come down this way. These two are together, top right to bottom left. I'm gonna make this a rainbow. All right, top right to bottom left. You can see these are all x squared, x squared, x squared, x cubed, x cubed. Okay, the x's and the x's go together. And then the negative five is down here by himself. All right. So in addition to helping you keep organized, it actually looks really pretty. So what you need to do is you need to combine your like terms on the diagonals and then write it in standard form. So since x fourth is by himself and he's the highest one, I'm gonna write him first. Three x cubed minus x cubed gives me two x cubed. Okay. Negative five and negative three make negative eight, but I add one, so that's negative seven x squared. Five and three make eight x, and then minus five. And that is my answer. So another way you could have done this that I think is way more complicated and is way, it's way harder to keep track of, is you could just foil it over and over and over again. You can go x squared times x squared, x squared times negative x, x squared times one, and then do the same thing with three x. Just multiply to each of them, and then the same thing with negative five. 
Some people really like that. I like, I prefer the box because I'm very visual. I like seeing the colors. I like seeing the organized, but it's completely up to you. If you would like me to show you how to do the other way, you can come see me and I will do that for you. But in this video, we're gonna do the box method. All right? So I'm gonna do one, two, and three in the next video, and then four, five, and six in the one after that, and then the word problem.